Welcome to another Women Lead TV show brought to you by Connected with Women of Influence. Boy, I should say that right. That is Connected Women of Influence. And we are delighted to do something a little different today. We are going to go talk show style and we're going to dish on a subject that I think is important to all of us as women, especially women in business. And the word, ready? What's ready. The word? This word we're going to dish on is ambition. Okay. And you know, I just, I want to hear ambition. what you guys think of this. Mm -hmm. To me, it's like, this is what I kind of want to kick off with. And first of all, let's tink and say, how about this for our first Women how Lead TV talk yeah, show? Yeah, baby. Woo -woo. Nice. Based on that, why is it that, you know, we say we want girls and, and young girls to grow up and be ambitious, right? And I know in the workplace, I can tell you tons of times I hear from women who will say, you know, I, I like spoke up and it's like I was tagged a bitch. It's like I get, I'm, I'm ambitious about what I want to do and they're like, whoa, you're too emotional about it. Mm. I mean, is this right or wrong? Because I'm like, and somebody even said you take ambitious mm -hmm. and there's a bitch in there. And I go, are you? Yeah, go with that, wow. Michelle. Seriously. By the way, this is Michelle Beauchamp with the Champ Group. This is Charles Sutta Medina with Cal State Fullerton. Wait, the Small Business Institute and Titan Women Collective. There you go. So there That's you go. That's a mouthful. It that is, is a it lot. Is. There's like three things, founder of. So yes. I'm going to come back to Michelle. What do you think about that, that Ooh. it's ambitious? I don't uh, like that at all. I don't like that at all either. I had never there. even thought about that. They um, do. And, and well, you keep talking. Okay, so uh, I, I don't like that at all. However, I definitely have been in many meetings where I, it, you know, it's interesting because I'm not a soft-spoken person, but really? I have, been, <laughs> but I have been in meetings before where, when I presented an idea, people would shut it down, and then it's true enough. A man would say, do? a man would say, you know, a man would say the same thing. I would raise my hand and say, you know, I just talked about that. Good for because, you. Because, you know, and then maybe they thought I was that word that's in the middle of ambitious. But I'm curious, what was the reaction when you said, hey, yo, I was the one that uh, brought I'm it up Uncomfortable, because I was the only woman. Uh, but did they, did they react? Yeah, or? they did. Well, the person who shut me down, basically, didn't quite know what to say, but he be, then became very quiet. Mm. And the other guys became quiet also. Whoa. But then they did turn it back to me. I can remember the exact situation mm. and, and listen to me. And I will tell you that I did talk to my boss about it later. I mm. said, you know what? I really had a problem with this. And um, he... I thought you were going to say, and I'm sorry that I spoke up. I'm like, oh, oh, no. no Thank I'm, goodness. Yeah. Oh, I've no. heard women, that I've heard women oh, no. say that before. No, no, no. See, They're like, I'm so apologize. sorry I spoke up. I'm oh, like, are no, you serious? No, no I, I didn't apologize for that at all. Okay. The, and, and you know what? He actually... Um, is very aware my boss my former boss was so he mm -hmm. apologized profusely mm -hmm. and um, I think he did end up saying something to the person who interrupted me and was really rude I think so but here's the thing I don't think men can help themselves I'm like seriously you know I, I don't do you think that's that, that's perfectly fine and I have no problem bringing it to your awareness okay and that's what you did uh, yeah. yeah you just said I'm it's not gonna way. I'm not going to sit here and just pretend like that didn't happen no and so as women we have that power and that right to and be we able need to, to own it. And you need to own yes, it unapologetically. Yes. You know. No, no. Like I I'm <laughs> I'm really shocked to hear that kind of behavior, but it is something oh. that we see often and I have no problem with addressing it. Well, you know, I've seen, I've also seen like articles that will talk about, you know, what we should do, right, mm -hmm. on behalf of other women. Now you were in a room, you were the only, only girl woman. in the room, which is crazy because it's like, you know, when, you, when you're in that environment, and you're like, wow, this is very telling, yeah. right? You right. look at board boardrooms oh, today yeah. and you look at senior leadership and companies and yeah. we'll dish on that on another one. But yes. <laughs> I'm really curious with, you know, how men react and don't. And and we as women, I've seen women in, in boardroom situations where they get catty with each other. Mm. And I'm like, what about that? I'm going, mm. we sh you know, but I've had a woman say to me, it's not my job to be an advocate for other women. And I'm mm. like, stop it. That stop. is a shame. That pisses is what me that off. Is. That's mm. a shame. And have mm. you, have you, I've seen it. I've seen it. And it's like, I bring it up. But I'm yeah. like, are you serious? I yeah. go, you don't think, well, that's not my job because nobody yeah. supported me. And I'll oh, go, wow, honey. Okay, we got to talk. I'm really sorry you feel that way. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's actually a sad statement. Do you know what I mean? To, for <sighs> someone totally to, to feel like, well, you know, I don't, it's, it's not my job. But you know what, when you, when you are one of, you know, just a, a one out of 20, 
you know, the only female in the room right. and you might have another female cohort in that room. If you guys do not support each other, to me, that is insanity. I agree. Michelle B and Michelle B. Bam. Agree. Good okay. job. We agree. I got to quit saying bam. I'm saying it all the time now. There's nothing it's wrong like, with that. like bam. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Go That's ahead. good. Yes. What I was just thinking about as we were having that conversation, as I was listening, mm -hmm. is I, I think it's changing. I think that women, I feel that women are really starting to encourage each other more. Yes. I think the last couple of years, last year with the Me Too movement starting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this year with all of the women running for political office. Oh, yeah. It was a big year. It was yeah. a big year. Right? And, mm -hmm. so, and I think that that's only going to continue mm -hmm. to progress. Mm -hmm. So I think that even though... But I'm hoping what I think is that woman is going to be in the minority. Yeah. Can yeah. I can I segue on something? Is there okay. a message? Because this really irritates me. Is when when you see the media and they're and this is traditional media, by the way, that they'll all they talk about is what a woman running for political office is wearing. Like, and I'm like Hillary with her pants. Suits. Who care? Well, mm -hmm. I mean, that was annoying. Why can we say that about men? Just, yeah. Oh, look at that suit. Yeah. Right? yeah. Or look at uh, it's just ridiculous how that's what, the what they is. point out. And yeah. so we need to, tr you know, and I think it's our responsibility. To, tr to change that. I mean, I think that women, we need to take the responsibility to say to the media people, stop focusing on mm -hmm. that and start listening to what, start focusing yeah. on what the message is that we're delivering. But wouldn't you think women in media would pick up on that and not go there? And I've seen it. You've I've seen, seen women do that. I've seen women do that, mm -hmm. where they kind of dish on it. And mm -hmm. I, I just want to go wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if that's I was point. a woman in media, I would be like going, yeah, so if that's the case, I'm mm -hmm. like, check out what that guy's wearing. I'm like, yeah, that guy, what, really? I'm like, that's what he's. Strip a little bit on yes, them. Yes, yeah. look at that yeah. tie he has on. Put it on the other way. Yeah, really, those are the colors Aren't he's wearing. Aren't those trousers making his backside a Exactly. And you say backside, let's say butt. Well, you know what I'm saying, right? Come on. Charles on a little bit. You're so that. little to correct. correct. <laughs> We've all had those situations, but women not supporting women and, and this ambition yeah. thing, it just drives me crazy. Have you ever, here's a question, mm -hmm. have you ever been, and I've been on a few boards where it's like women only, right? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I run a women's association, right. right? I'm a founder to it. And yet I've been on boards where they're all women led. Yes. And I'm telling you, it's like, I want to see my way out of there as fast as I can. Uh, uh, pettiness. Yeah. I see arguments. I see women being so controlling mm -hmm. about what they do, and I and I know I'm going to be polarizing when I say this, but I don't see the same mm -hmm. when I'm in a boardroom mm. on boards mm. with men. Mm. So, is this been because both of you have been on boards? You guys have been there. Have you seen the same thing? Well, I can say that in the process of building a board, um, ah. some of the concerns that um, my board members shared with me was that same Pettiness. Thing. Yeah. It was like, you know, let's talk about this a little bit, yeah. you know, how to find the right people. Right. Right. So that we can actually get things done. Right. Rather than having all of the, the cattiness. The cattiness. Oh, it's awful. Um, so. Mm -hmm. Like you upset me by what you said. I'm like, and then you're going to remind me of that for six months later. Yeah. Right. Let yeah. it go. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there's a song for that. I, I will <laughs> not sing it, but yeah, there's a song yeah. for that. Yeah. Yes. Well, no, I think, you know, again, you have to be make sure that you're bringing the right people into that and not every woman is the right woman to be on a board you right. know if they don't have the temperament do you know what i mean right to be challenged how do you find how do you determine that so how, what do you look for you're building a board I how do. are you determining the temperament and i'm sorry but i have to cut you off and go how do you do that it, it really is having conversations about what their goals are do you mm -hmm. know what i mean and do they really buy into what the the Titan Women Collective's mission is. Yeah. Because yeah. we're looking to make an impact. I'm not looking to one to run a woman's group, mm -hmm. you know, where we mm -hmm. get together and, you know. It's not a social no. group. This is about impact. And in order to have impact, we have to have clear goals, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and, um, and we have to be intentional. And we, you know, sometimes, I, listen, I'm willing to make a decision with two board members in the room or 12 board members in the room. Right. Either way, a decision is going to be made. Yeah. So you can be a part of it, mm -hmm. or if your schedule is busy and you, you know, you're mm. not able to make it, that's fine. Peace but out. a decision is going to be made. And so I just make that clear on the front end. That's good. And I think that that I think no, that's smart. Responding. I like that. I think more of us should get that message. That's awesome. And you know what I was thinking about as mm -hmm. I was listening to you too, Charles Etta, so it's leadership. Mm -hmm. You know, so I have been. I love um, and hate that word, but go ahead. You know, but, but because it starts at the top. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. It starts at the top. So you can be a leader and not be at the top. You can be a leader and not step at the top, but the person who's at the top, the person who's the head of yes. the organization, right. that You're person correct. has the title, yeah. <laughs> has the title of leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, now, hopefully, they have the behavior, the ability to make yeah. a decision. Yeah, I like that. Uh, right. So for me, I have been, and I have to say, for the most part, I've been fortunate to be on boards where we didn't have the cattiness. Mm -hmm. And if that was going on, I just chose not to be a part of it. Right. So we have that ability. How did you? Yes. How did you not be a part of it? I mean, it gets uncomfortable sometimes in those meetings where it's like, what I want to say, but this is how I roll, and you guys know mm -hmm. I have a twisted way I do things. I'd be like, you know, we need to have signs that say no drama zone, right, or no mm -hmm. mean girls or something mm -hmm. because some people just don't get it. Yeah. How do you well, deal I, with that? Well, I, I think a couple it? things. One is, you said earlier, have an agreement up front about the expectations, not mm -hmm. only being aligned with the goals, but mm -hmm. understanding what, what's our culture yes. as this organization? What's our culture? What's acceptable and, value, and what's, what's not value, yeah. What's our culture? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how are we going to be? Mm -hmm. and, and then have an agreement. Okay, so when we are in a meeting and we see that some drama is going on, then we need to be okay and say, Time out. Right. We're not here for drama. Mm -hmm. You know, and bring bring everybody back in. That's a good idea. You know, so I think so. It's about getting the agreement in it the beginning. It really is. But the leader at the top with the title, the person who has the title of leadership, should be steering. Needs that. to be yeah. steering that yeah. and 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 direct and direct it accordingly. Because you know, what's what's happened is it's been allowed to continue. So you and it becomes you, part of the culture. And then it becomes exactly. Right. So if you're sitting on a in, on a board and this behavior has been going on, you know. Right. for a year yeah you know it's, it's not going to change overnight well you know and it's interesting because you know we have the new law out in the state of california ah. at that you know more women need to be on corporate <laughs> oh, boards right. which i love but i actually watched it was about a year ago i sat in on a board meeting and it was a for-profit organization mm -hmm. i was excited just to sit there and hear what goes on right i was invited and i watched two very powerful women with a group of men, right? Mm -hmm. It was it was diverse, right? As far as, you know, two women and there were like eight people there. Mm -hmm. And these women just started to have kind of like a little bit of a, excuse me, kind of a pissing match with each other. Mm -hmm. But here's oh. the worst part of it. Because of what these women did, as the board members were leaving, women left, three of the gentlemen started to go, can you believe that crap? See, and mm -hmm. it's like, I'm like, re oh, That's I wanted just, to uh, read those confirmed women. Confirmed what they already thought yes. about women. See? Because they just, it was with the two Literally. of them getting icky with each other. Mm -hmm. And then three of the guys at the end were just like, can you believe that? Like, here's why. Here's mm -hmm. why this is going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. So women get it. It's like, we really need to be advocates for each other. What's going to be our final words here? Because we're almost out of time. So make a stand. Make a statement. Ambitious. Be it, but I don't be it. concerned with how other people perceive your ambition. That's yeah, bam. What do you got? You're going to wrap it up and take it home for us. Reach out and help somebody else because you didn't get where you are alone. Yeah. And, and folks, that is our first Women Lead TV talk show. Well done. Yay. <laughs>